Hey, what's up? My name is Kevin and I am the Helpful Hero, here to help you leverage the awesome power that is HubSpot. Today we're talking about Clean Pro version 67 and a few of the new cool improvements that I've made to a handful of the modules, as well as a really cool new update to the blog post template, which is available in Clean. So let me go ahead and show you a couple cool things that you can expect um, with this update. Don't mind me. I've been on a mid-journey binge creating this AI artwork and threw a bunch of Star Wars concepts at it and it's, it's just been so much fun. So forgive me. I'm a little nerdy. I like Star Wars. Let's continue. So the video gallery module here, one of the updates that I've added into it is the ability to create filters for each of the thumbnail cards. So now if you have a lot of different videos and you want to be able to provide an easy way for someone viewing the page to filter through, now you have it and it's actually pretty cool. So I'll show you how that works in just a moment. Another cool addition is the hover cards module. One of the common uh, requests that I would get is to actually show a different image when you hover. Well, now you can. So I'll show you that in just a moment too. Let's jump right into the CMS and I'll show you a couple quick things regarding both of these modules. So if we click into the video gallery, under start here, you're gonna see this option to add the filter dropdown. You wanna go ahead and turn that on if you wanna use this option. And that's gonna open up this filter mechanism below where you can add the text for both the all, show all label, and then this label right here. Why that's important is because if you're going to be translating any of your pages into other languages, this provides you the opportunity to make those translations for these simple little uh, labels. Now with that turned on, what we can do is we can go into each of our videos and there's gonna be an option to add a filter class. You can actually add multiple filter classes so that if you have something obviously that has like two, it's in two categories, no problemo, you got that option right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this one. It's literally as simple as adding some text. The one thing you're gonna to wanna to be careful of or mindful of rather is making sure that you don't make spelling mistakes and you make um, each of these filter classes consistent with the capitalizations and so on for your different video. So anyways, it's pretty easy. You can figure it out. I trust you. Okay, let's move on to the hover cards. So if we click here, and open up one of these cards. Now you're gonna see this little option right here to show a second image on hover and you can just upload an image. Really, it's pretty simple. Now let's jump over to the blog, which I'm even more excited about because there's been some really cool um, new things that you can do with the blog. So first and foremost, here is our quick blog. Let's go ahead and edit the theme settings right here. And let's just back out of here. And we're gonna go into the blog, the post page. And then first and foremost, let's look at these two options. Now you're gonna see these are a little bit different. Before, you could display recent posts at the bottom of every post page. And so basically something that looks like this. Now you have the option to actually display related posts, which has been such a common request from so many people and now it's available and clean. The difference between the two is that with related posts, what happens is there is tags associated to each blog post right here. And so this will automatically look for other posts related to that tag and only serve up, well, serve up first those posts below. If you have any other posts, it'll just you know add that so that you're always showing posts um, here at the bottom. Now there is one really important thing to know. As you add new posts with a specific tag, say for example, a design tag like we're looking at here, it does take HubSpot some time to register that post in the background for its magic to work. So if you do notice a delay here in you just posted you know, a new blog post with the design tag or whatever tag you're using and it doesn't instantly show, just know that it does take some time for HubSpot to process that on their end. So don't worry, check back in a few hours or the next day and I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, let's scooch all the way back up to the top and then go into the post header section. 
Now, what you can do if you come under the column arrangements is you'll see there's a couple other options here in terms of how you want the featured image and that post title to work together. Now, if you do image below the title, you can just pop that right below and have that big featured image. Again, another big common request. Even cooler, what you can do is now you can put the image in the background. So say we want Yoda in the background. Now, of course, you'd wanna come through and adjust the title color, the read time color, author color, the date color, and anything that you have on just to make sure that the text is still popping off of whatever background. But that is certainly a, an, another feature that I've gotten so many requests for, and personally, I've wanted. With that, um, I just wanna let you know I really appreciate you uh, leveraging Clean for your website. Thank you for all the feedback. Thank you for the requests. It's what has made Clean truly one of the best themes on the HubSpot platform because I love feedback. I love making this even more awesome for you over time. So with that, I'm out. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week, enjoy the rest of the month and all that good stuff. I'll catch you later, bye.